welcome to the world of life scripting. Today we're going to focus on space clearing and why is that necessary for you? Space clearing is practicing ancient ritualistic techniques and also understanding how to use energy work and also learning how to use the art of geomancy, which is feng shui, a 5,000 year old practice. In space clearing, you would want to know how is your auric field. The auric field has many layers. Let's look at them. First of all, you have your physical body and next to it, which is like almost about five centimeters after your physical body is your etheric field. After your etheric field, there is the mental and then the emotion and the astral bodies. All of these combine your aura. Your aura is not only about the colors and what colors it holds, it's about its quality, the thoughts that it has, the emotions that it has. And when you learn how to cleanse your aura on a regular basis and to create a protective shield, you will have a sharper mind, a clearer focus, and you'll be able to, guess what, manifest better. In space clearing, you are focusing not only on your energy field, but also the space. Your space is your home, is your office, is your company, is your car, is your garden. All of these places play a certain role in your day-to-day -day life. They emit frequencies, and these frequencies are there to either help you or maybe to harm you. And not all of them are done intentionally. So when you learn how to use certain techniques to cleanse and activate certain parts of these spaces, then you are becoming a conscious creator. You're becoming a conscious manifester. You see, sometimes you would go to certain places and you would feel the energy is ex extremely welcoming. You feel excited. You want to go there often. Or sometimes you meet people and you want to just be surrounded by them all the time. Other times, the complete opposite is also true. What happens is, when you are not aware of your energy and you're not aware of the space that you are in, you are accumulating emotions of a day-to-day -day basis, which can range from happiness to sadness, from fear to anger, from excitement to feeling low and depressed. Now, when this accumulation happens, especially in the corners of your space, there is a stagnation happening. And even if you are meditating on a daily basis, and even if you're trying to stay positive, you might find that it's getting harder and harder. So why not assist your environment so that you can have a greater mind, body, and energy? When you are learning space clearing, you are learning to use the five elements. What are the five elements? The first is working with the air element. The air element is the smoke. So here I have an example of one of the ancient tools called sage. Sage, when it's being burned, it creates a powerful smoke of cleansing. That is the air element. Then you are also using the earth element, which is a crystal. Crystals are part of Mother Earth and we need to make use of them because they emit, absorb energies. The third tool or the third element is fire. Fire is one of the strongest and ancient tools that we have on Earth. Have you ever experienced sitting next to a fire and then having a clearer mind? So imagine using this on a regular basis or at certain times of the year to increase the vibration of your space. And then we also have the element of water. Using water consciously, whether bathing, showering, or even drinking water will help to cleanse your auric field and your space. Now the fifth element is space, which is ether learning to connect to a higher frequency in order to be able to receive the assistance and the guidance to clear your energy field. Now there are added also elements that you can use and you will learn in space clearing, which is sound. The frequencies of certain hertz, which you would be playing around your house or your office in order to create more of a positive and healthier environment. 
let's look at one way of using space clearing tools. So here I have, I'm just using a leaf of sage and there are also other tools that we can use. So I'm combining it with fire, obviously, to create that smoke. Now, one way to cleanse your aura using the art of air is cleansing your field in an anti-clockwise. The anti-clockwise motion is starting from the left foot and going around your body in seven rounds. Now, seven is considered an ancient, powerful spiritual number. So go around and cleanse your aura in the seven rounds. Now let's add a little bit of a life scripting tool here, which is the power of words. So let's say cleanse and purify mentally. So let's go ahead, cleanse and purify. Number one, cleanse and purify. Cleanse and purify. Cleanse and purify. And you can go on doing that seven times. Now, ideally, this would be great to do before you leave your house and when you come back home so that you would not have any other energies stuck in your auric field, which can sometimes affect your mindset, especially if you're an empath. What about the black tourmaline crystal, which I have over here? Black tourmaline is one of my favorite crystals. What it does, it's like a vacuum. By holding it or having it around your house, you are able to absorb all that negative or harmful energy inside this piece of crystal. Of course, size does matter when you are working with crystals. If you are using a tumble one, which is a tiny one, I would suggest having that in your pocket or in your bag. If you want to use it in your house, I would suggest having the size of these rough black tourmalines in the four corners of your house. How do you keep your cl uh, crystals clean is by either using sage, and here is what I will be doing. I'll be cleansing this crystal using sage. I will let the smoke pass over the crystal. You can see how it's beautifully passing over the crystal. This is one way, or you can put it under running water and it will help to cleanse the crystal. Ideally, the best time to do space clearing is during the full moon. And if that day is not possible for you, then I would suggest between full moon towards the new moon. And that duration, you have the ability to eliminate and clear all those energies that are unhealthy for you. Finally, focusing on manifesting, we're going to be using what feng shui, this ancient art of geomancy is, learning certain simple techniques from there to create your environment to vibrate, to bring you prosperity, love, health, success, and career fame. So if you are interested in working beyond the mind, focusing on your environment to create a prosperous and auspicious life, then join me on my space clearing training.